to concealers, I'm going to, this is like very controversial for me because I have done several reviews. Actually, no, I did one review on this and I did include it in my favorites, but that was over the winter springtime now that it's summer i have something different to say about these these concealers so these are the black opal concealers that you can find them in your local beauty supply store um i have two of them here i don't know this is a lighter shade that i use for concealing and this is the hazelnut one that i do use just for like um uh hyper to cover up hyperpigmentation and that's it then i just use a face powder i don't have to use a foundation with this however <laughs> However, as spring approached, I discovered that the formulation of these products are very, very oily. I think I knew that from the get-go, but over the winter period, it, it didn't really affect me because it wasn't sunny and hot. But now that the weather's changed, uh, mm-mm, oh, no, 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 like, no. Oh my gosh, I wear this and... I could leave the house in, in an hour and I feel like, oh my gosh, what the heck's going on with my face? And um, I'll try to blot it and that's okay. And it does stay somewhat in place, but it's just not a good thing when you're constantly greasy and you're constantly dabbing your face. You just appear oily all the time. You could cook an egg on your face. So no, I'd say no to these black opal concealers if you have combination to oily skin because that's what i believe i have or just oily skin in general they're not good also i had this incident where i ended up uh, visiting my parents they're out of town so i spent the night there and i did this horrible thing of not washing my face and removing my makeup and then the next day i was just like okay we're gonna head home so it's not a big deal i don't have to take it off right now i'll just take it off when, when i get home it actually took a little bit longer than I thought. We didn't get home till the, e the afternoon or evening. And so I had the makeup on for like a whole uh, 24, uh, well, maybe not 24 hours, but I had it on for a very long time. And when I washed that sucker off, like within, the, you know, later on that afternoon, I found that I was breaking out. I had all these little bumps everywhere because A, it's a very thick formula and B, it is very oily. So I feel like it would probably clog your pores probably not the best for your face when it is a heavy type concealer and it's like I said it just doesn't work really well in heat so definitely check it out maybe it's really good in the winter when it's not um, hot outside and humid and all that good stuff or perhaps it will um, be okay under like say one of the matte foundations that I showed you because I have worn it I still find that it becomes a bit oily it doesn't work as well as my foundation would have worked by themselves so you could still work work with it but you have to find a way that works for you I definitely would not wear it the way I've mentioned before um, in a review because that was winter now it's summer so yeah be weary of these ones Another concealer that I came across in my local beauty supply store would be this one. It is called, it's a Ruby Kisses um, concealers. And I did go ahead and pick up two at once. Beats me because they were like $3. So I figured, oh, they're cheap. Um, let's just say I'm not a big fan. They too, like the Black Opal, are a bit greasy. So I, mm, yeah. It says it's a semi matte finish, but I find them to be oily and slippery and sliding all over the place. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of these at all. However, given that they're somewhat light, actually, I don't know, I could probably use them under my eye because I don't really touch my face when I put on my makeup. So that'll be different. I find that obviously when we perspire or sweat, it's going to be in the T-zone area. So it's probably not going to be under my eyes. So I might work with them to try to use them underneath there, but I'm definitely not planning on using them as a concealer on my face. Those are the Ruby Kisses. They're not worth getting in my opinion. And so, I mean, cheap or no cheap, like it, you know, there are products that can work well that are inexpensive, but I just don't, I'm not a big fan. Just not. I have a bunch of concealers that I found that are actually really, really good. And, uh, of course, you know I'm going to include my LA Girl concealers in there. And I have about, like, four of these, actually. This one is on its way to be done because I do use it to conceal under my eyes. This one I purchased to use as a contour, but I don't contour very often, so I haven't even really used this yet. But these are amazing concealers. The consistency is good. The coverage is good. My only issue would be 
the application because they do have this security mechanism here which prevents the product from squeezing out so you kind of have to pull it down and then squeeze so that's the only downside to these is that for security reasons it might be fine but it's just a hassle to work with it because it doesn't squeeze out as easily as one would like it to of course I do have two matte concealers and this is what uh, the moisture cover I don't even know what this one is called moisture cover concealer I guess it's a liquid one with with the applicator like that method um, I do prefer to not use this to conceal blemishes or hyperpigmentation I do prefer to use it under my eyes but it is good for summer it is MAC I didn't uh, I have to say though though the concealers are good I do find that with the MAC foundation per se not not powder but foundation I do find that those tend to be oily so that's a big reason why I haven't purchased my MAC foundation in a while I don't know if they've done any improvements or anything like that so if any of you guys have are with combination to oily skin and have been wearing MAC foundation uh, throughout the year or you just know that they have uh, ones that are good for summer with you know for people like me with combination to oily skin just comment down below and let me know that be good because I do love the formulation of MAC foundations I just took a break anyways back to the concealer there's also this concealer my everyday concealer which I really do love this is great for blemishes it's good for anything really I do use it under my eyes sometimes it's just a little bit thicker to work with and yeah so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to my channel guys like I said I'm a new uh, beauty blogger not a guru uh, you know so I just love makeup and I do have a ton of it and I just want to show and review some of the products that I have at hand and sh review and show some of my experiences so I hope anything that I show is helpful to you guys and just feel free to interact and comment down below and let me know what you think of these products or if you have any that you will recommend in substitute of some of the ones that I've shown or whatnot. Thanks for watching guys. Much love. Bye.